Welcome to Graham Games, my name is Graham, this is a game, today I'm playing Grapple Dog, coming to us from Medallion Games. This is one I've been keeping an eye on for, I think, like, literally years at this point. It just looks like the most happy, delightful little platformer of all time. It's just charming as heck, just swinging around, cute little doggy. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Partash lived in hunger and hardship. Then one day, the great inventor appeared. Ooh, he's <laughs> using his genius intellect. We have like mouse Steve Jobs over here. He built wonderful devices to help the people. In turn, those who lived in Partash came to adore him like a king. Maybe no need to like immediately worship the guy, you know. However, one day a great evil emerged, jealous of the inventor. Sensing a final attack was imminent, the inventor made plans to protect the people. He scattered the four cosmic gadgets across Partash, where evil could never find them. After that, the great inventor was never seen again. He just peaced out. Uh, I'm going to hide the tools through which you guys can help yourselves. But I'm getting out of here. I've built a little gyrocopter and just like... <laughs> sounds more like I'm slurping noodles than a, a helicopter sound. But, you know, they just got out of there, got out of Dodge. That was the help you gave? Come on, man. Ever since then, treasure hunters have searched far and wide for the inventor's devices. Some hope for riches, some for glory, and some hope to unlock the secrets of the past. <laughs> I do like the little dog paw, little like transition screen there. That's cute. I even just like the colors there. It's just a great looking scene. Alone at sea seems safe. Oh, what are you doing going to land, grapple dog? <laughs> he seemed much safer. I like his like the awe he was looking around with. That's hard to communicate with limited pixels and, and like pixel animation. I do, I really, really dig the chunky outline of the pixel art here. Look at that, look at that cutely looking around. I haven't even started playing the game yet and I would die for Grapple Dog. Oh wow. Surely this is one of the inventions. This was looks like something that would have been made to protect the island and do good. I thought his inventions were gonna be tiny little like, oh, it's a spork. No, <laughs> this it is the actual protector and invention, and this is much better. They really, even though it's 2D animation, there was a lot of commitment put into like making unique animations and poses for specific scenarios. Maybe that's all related to that first cutscene. The, I, the effort is noticeable, you know, adding a lot of livelihood to the character early on here. Oh, I like the gradient in his ear. Ouch, what happened? Intruder alert! State your reasons for trespassing. Engaging laser beam attack. Oh, the, it kind of looks like a skull. Like it's kind of got the two eyes and kind of has the teeth. Ah, stop, don't shoot, please. I don't want to die from a laser. That's the one thing I don't want to die from. Anything else is fine. Slipping on an icy sidewalk and hitting my, that's fine, it's just no lasers. What's, that? What's like the most embarrassing way to die? Ugh. Zap kapow! Ha ha! Ah, uh, don't worry, fella. I'm just kidding around. After a thousand years stuck down here, I needed a laugh. Wait, we're stuck down here? My friends are probably worried sick. Whoa, calm down, fella. It's not the end of the world. Not yet, anyway. Once I break free, it will be the end. How about you follow me and I get us both out of here? Really? That'd be great, thanks! I like his little, like, woo! <laughs> Whenever he talks. It's it's simple, but... There's a, a little bark for some of the, the jumps as well. He really Metroids himself into a ball there, doesn't he? Ooh, what a sprint. Did I, did I do that? Is it just once you get going? Yeah, just automatically after you get going one direction for a certain amount of time. Immediately, you know, get used to the wall jumping and everything. I'm guessing majority of these like controls are going to be quite simple, quite intuitive, and it'll be once the grappling comes in that 
Gotta worry. Everything feels smooth so far. Very important for a game like this. You got a name, fella? What's a doggy like you doing in a place like this? My name's Pablo. We were looking for some kind of treasure. Something made by the great inventor? The professor can explain it a lot better. I wasn't really listening. <laughs> Yet you came along anyway. We appreciate the dedication, Pablo. Treasure, you say? Well, today's your lucky day, Pablo. You see that big chest over there? It's got something in it. In you gotta use to get us out of here. I would open it myself, but I haven't got the right, uh, right tools. Tools? You mean like a screwdriver? Or like a hands or body or like even toes. I would make do with toes. Good point. I guess I'll open it then. By the way, since you asked for mine, what's your name? Me? Hmm, well, I haven't used my name in a long, long time. Not since before I was trapped, uh, fell down here. I like the sound effects for this guy's speech too, but I guess you can call me Null. I mean, if you even want to. <laughs> it's nice to meet you, Null. Now, let's get this chest open. Immediate friends. Null is a cute name for this thing, I'm totally into it. It's a, I did not recognize that that was the chest at first. It's enormous. And it's just gonna have one tiny little like grapple inside of it. <laughs> That's an inefficient use of space, I gotta say. Ooh, I like the little 3D effect. And oh, just like a cool dynamic pose. I'm, I'm liking the extra little details layered in the game. They're quite appreciated. Climb up the rope, climb down the rope, swing. Oh, you can build up momentum so quickly. Okay, that's, it's gonna, the entire game really hinges on like that mechanic feeling good. And then from there we can worry about, you know, tying together interesting moments of platforming and puzzling and things like that. But if like the grappling's no good, then the game's no good. And so far the movement and grappling, it's good. <laughs> okay, fella. Now we've got to open this big door here. Use that grapple to explore and try and find the switch. I don't know. That big X on the door is giving me do not open vibes. No. That means the door is uh, designated for destruction. We're getting rid of the door. We don't want the door anymore. It's fine. Pablo, you're going to have to trust me on this. We've known each other forever at this point. So surely that trust has been established. Hmm, okay. I guess I'll go look for that switch. It's very mildly, like, you know, in the vein of Banjo-Kazooie and those sorts of games to have, you know, the little barking text and his little, uh, roboticized noises. But it's, it's done ever so slightly in a way that feels a little bit more distinct and unique. Like, it's not a straight ripoff. They gave it its own identity within that like imitation I guess if you want to call it and so I, I think that works quite well <laughs> I'm enjoying bouncy balling myself that's quite fun it's kind of messing around with things a little bit the movement feels quite good so it, it, it like motivates me to want to fling around oh no we got a body for you bud oh he's gonna turn into a bad guy if we give him a body Obviously, <laughs> it's the one thing he's good as a head bad as a body Cla that classic trope Yes, <laughs> yes. No, what is this place? What are you doing? Oh, Pablo, uh, I, I mean, I I guess he did tell us he was specifically trapped down here. He probably is a bad guy. Dang it, I'm always getting betrayed. I gotta do something over here real quick. Don't mind me. Grapple him, stop him, Pablo. What have we done? What horrors have we unleashed upon the world? Surely he won't kill us though. He'll he'll enslave the rest of the world and just make us like the right hand man. And that'll be fine. We'll we'll live with that. We'll, we'll be fine, you know. Ask him to protect a few of our friends and then we'll be like assistant ruler of the world. Barely any effort put in at all. Pretty pretty sweet gig for us. Oh Pablo, you have no idea what you've done. After all this time, I'm restored to my full power. Now I'm free. Free to search for the cosmic gadgets once again. All thanks to you, fella. If you want my advice, run. Ooh. Why did whoever locked away his body not destroy his body? 
You know, I, if you ask me, that would have been a good way to deal with things, to remove the possibility of this ever occurring. I assume he's chasing me. Whoa! Okay, that was badass. And much more giant than I was expecting. Oh, do you know what's funny? The game, like, wanted you to look at that. So it was a flat stretch and you didn't have to start jumping till he was off screen. So you could totally, like, tune out for a minute. <gasps> the inventor. No! <laughs> that didn't last long at all. A little, po a little null standing right on the tip there. I like how he grew his big horns. It's a cool design. Finally, I can finish what I started. Everything will burn. Man, he really did a 180 on personality and, and things there. Thought we were going to be the best of pals. I think I think I might just like like all the character designs in this. They're simple but effective. And they got cute little bean bodies and things. But not in like a, like a typical way. What happened to Pablo? Was he hurt? He was in the water. I pulled him out as fast as I could. Pablo, please be okay. Look, Tony, he's waking up. Pablo, I'm so glad you're awake. I'm liking the big, like, blue eyeshadow or eyebrows, whatever they are. We were really worried about you. Are you okay? Oh my god, he looks miserable. <laughs> poor, poor little dog. I'm okay. I, I'm a little cold. We lost you back there. What happened? So I fell down a hole. And then I, I was just quickly telling the story. And it took him all night to tell the story. It took me eight minutes to play it. <laughs> I fell down a hole. I met a robot. I got a grapple hook. The robot turned out to be evil. Whoops. There, I, there you go. That could have been your story. And then I jumped in the water to get away. And then I woke up and you asked me what happened. And then I don't know what happens next because that's now. Pablo, focus! You say that you obtained some sort of grappling device? Show me, right away! <laughs> now that we're, you know, right away, hours later in your story. <laughs> Whoa, cool! The aerodynamics are incredible! Forget Aero Watsits! This is a creation of the great inventor! It's a priceless artifact! I must study it for my book on the inventor! Professor Null said something about the cosmic gadgets? Oh! Professor, comma, Null. Yes, that raises a few questions. What does Null hope to achieve by gathering them, I wonder? Mm, I'm trying to remember my research on the subject. We know the great inventor scattered the cosmic gadgets, but no one knows their exact purpose. There are theories. They could power an enormous machine, or wake a monster, or contact space aliens. I like that this game had a cutscene up top, let you play the game right away, and now we're getting a little bit more exposition. So you made sure we got some gameplay in there nice and early, and I like that it's not just characters talking to each other, like facing each other on the ground. There's like fully detailed, drawn cutscenes. I just am appreciating the effort. <laughs> Regardless, we know that when gathered, they will release enough energy to damage the fabric of reality. What? <laughs> Is that bad? Yeah, fabric is good, man. You're wearing a blanket right now. Imagine if it was destroyed. That's an equivalent comparison. Do you get it now, the severity? That amount of energy would destroy the entire world. What? That is bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad, Pablo. <laughs> Naked. That settles it. We have to get the cosmic gadget. Stop Null and save the world. I'm with you, Pablo. I'll help with whatever you need. Mm, I don't know. Can you grapple? If you're not a grapple bunny, then I don't know if you can help me very much. Mm, Pablo, we're more historical researchers than world savers. Uh, well, if there's no world when you finish your book, then nobody will be there to read it. Mm, a fair point. All right, I suppose I'll come with you then. Great. Let's go! Okay, but don't slow me down, old lady. Oh, this is fun to make. Oh, wait, is all of the art secretly 3D and then pixelified? 
Maybe that's how some of the more uh, involved, like, head turning and tumbling is animated, is it's kind of, like, cheated a little bit, but, you know, you hide it away. I like the idea of making this, like, an open navigation rather than being forced to move alongside the lines. Like, obviously, there's only one place I could go, but it has a nice, like, freeform feel to it that I'm in favor of. Oh, there's cute little goats on that mountain. Outset Mountain. Little bird, even the birdies have chunky outlines, which is funny because then half of their pixels are committed to their outlines. Uh, free oranges, yes please. Load up on some vitamins. <laughs> I want as many of those as possible. Let me, let me pile up. See, there's the, there's the birds with their goofy little chunks. <laughs> there's a lot of. A lot of bouncing around to be done. I like the way that once you ground pound, you really like ricochet off of things. There's like a fun bit of uh, movement going on there where, and, and like the ricochet bounce like matters in its own way, you know? If that, if that makes sense, like I, when I bounced off, you're still in ball form for a minute. So if you hit a crate in that moment, you're like still good, essentially. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the, get the grappling started. Hey, go, friend. Hey, have you seen an evil robot around here? Whoa there, buddy. Evil's a pretty loaded term. Oh, right. Have you seen uh, just any kind of robot around here? Yeah, sure. There's a bunch of horrible, scary robots up this way. Oh, uh, g good? I don't know if uh, it's something I'm all that excited about, but I appreciate your help in the, in the matter. You seem you seem pretty okay with it. We we certain they're evil robots. Maybe they're reg regulars. Oh, we got our our pal. <laughs> you know we've never met, but I'm your number one fan, Mr. Inventor. I was trying to see if I swung my way up there in like a really specific spot. Your grapple doesn't have a ton of range. Like I was trying to see if I could swing. There's nothing up there. It's 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 nothing. I can just carry on. <laughs> yeah, getting the feel for things already. Must collect every piece of fruit. Ah, Pablo, I wanted to tell you about this purple gem over here. Already got one. Know everything I need to know about him. Big, shiny, collectible. I want them all. No, no further details needed. Is it the sort of thing I shouldn't touch? Like the toaster? No, though you really do need to stop doing that. Is that, that's not like a dog specific thing or anything. He's just, this guy just burns a lot of toast. According to my research, these gems are used by the great inventor to override robot signals. Perhaps if we were to collect enough, we could clear the way to further islands. Apparently there are five hidden in each stage. So make sure to look for them. They're really, inserting re like having a research character who knows about the world to provide the necessary exposition and extra information along the way and then here and there just randomly like that's like one of the first times where it's like also this is very clearly a video game and <laughs> the way things work <laughs> is very video gamey that looked that looked like a secret I had no evidence that there were those sorts of secrets in the game, but I, it felt like the thing to do. Uh, you can, you can smash enemies. I wasn't sure to what extent I would have, uh, oh god, it's not going well. <laughs> I have ways of, of like defending myself, essentially. Oh, I wanted to get two in one. That was the real dream. It does a good job of signaling when you can grapple at all and where your grapple will land when you use it. Can I, can I like build up a bounce here? Not really, but you can see that on screen. It like highlights exactly where your grapple is going to land. So you know to deploy it at the right time and you know like what, Angle you you have it pointed at so yeah, I think I think there's a good bit of information there to help you Know in the moment while you're winging things around at like max velocity and trying to move through the game at a good speed When and where you can use everything Carrots new. Oh, do I have to go find my bunny friend? That's my my theory at least Oh, That didn't quite work <laughs> Okay, there we go. If I if I 
take the carrot with me the whole way, and I don't know if I'll drop it if I get hurt or anything. So I'll just try to not do that. That'll that'll be the main the main way I deal with that. Ah, ah. Okay, that that went quite poorly. I don't. Oh, you you can grapple onto the sides. So if I kind of build up my swings here, and then whoop, that didn't go at all how I wanted it to. This is clearly not how I'm supposed to do it. That's just not working at all. All right, if I just build up here. Okay, that was not difficult. I made much more out of it than I needed to. Not seeing the way up there just yet, so I, I'll navigate a slightly different way. Could I have grappled that enemy? Is that what I was supposed to do? I, I think I gotta wait till I'm up top there, and then I gotta head l uh, right to left. Oh, okay, good, 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 good. I've been playing Shovel Knight in my own time, and I was very afraid that spikes would be instant death. Hey, Tony, what are you doing here? Oh, I didn't drop the carrot, that's good. Oh, hey, Pablo, nice to see you. I'm using my analyzer to study this strange object. According to my readings, it's wireless, wirelessly connected to a network of localized teleporting devices. I'm not following. Collect this coin and you'll unlock a bonus level in the overworld. Neat, huh? That is neat. I love collecting shiny things. I love a game that provides, like, Plenty of optional content. Oh, a dog biscuit is how you heal. That's cute. I'm super into it. And the actual way to get across to that is pretty well precisely what I thought it would be. Oh, okay. Now we're getting grappling. Heck yeah. That's not great. Like, I'm not doing incredibly well. But that's uh, effective. Oh, I think there's some uh, very clever, like, accessibility stuff going on there, where it's both colored to let you know when a platform is more, ooh, is more bouncy than others, but it also has the double arrow, so, like, if you struggle with colors a little bit, you'll still quickly and easily be able to tell. Alright, let me see how much I can potentially wing this around. Uh, I don't think you can go around, like... Like I was hoping, like uh, on a swing set. Maybe this will work? Yeah, okay, you gotta like pull yourself in and jump out of it. That's a, like a tricky maneuver. That's not one I'm immediately... Ooh. That was an instant death, but it didn't even uh, set me back to a, a checkpoint. I think I could grapple that thing. Now, what do I, what do, I do about these? I'm, I'm gonna try to bounce, bounce. Oh, it turns into, okay. <laughs> I, I assumed there would be oranges to be collected. These are oranges, right? I've said it a thousand times now at this point and I just have to assume that is what it is. So you can grapple the enemies for an added little bit of extra chaos. If you really wanna clear it all, destroy everything. <laughs> it's uh it's effective. It's like a speedy way to go about things for sure. Oh yeah, yep. Yeah. That seemed like a good spot to to hide something. I love when games have I can feel myself like moving along with that. I love when platforming games have like extra stuff like that. Whoops <laughs> to discover. But that there is like a level of, of logic to it that you can get into as the player and, and start to pick up on. I'm trying to do a very particular thing here and it, it didn't go at all how I planned. And I'm thinking that there wasn't even anything up there to be discovered anyways. Oh, nuts. Oh, nuts. Double nuts. No! No, let me back down. I want down so badly. I will have collected, like, every orange except for the last, like, four in the level. Damn it. Come on. 
No! Oh, there's more elsewhere that I didn't even know about. And I... Okay, there's an entire, an entire section that I missed. Oh, two of the gems come from just having enough oranges. So I think that's the main thing is I was like nine away. Tangerines, whatever they are. Satsumas, maybe? That's a bummer. I was so close, but... That's interesting that even on the very first level, there's enough, like, additional stuff that I potentially could have gone and ventured through. Oh, and look at that. There's, like, three not filled in. Is my mouse on screen? I don't have my mouse available. The three not filled in circles here that I'm pointing the, the like, front of my ship at. <laughs> so, potentially, I could go back and there's even more stuff to collect and find. Hey, Pablo, did you know that after you beat a stage, you can play it again in time trial mode? If you get really good, you'll get a gold medal. Oh, wow, that's neat. Do I have to do them if I want to save the world? Mm, nah, <laughs> something tells me time trials are just for fun. Something tells me that's appreciated that it's a bonus thing. I am curious about the bonus stage. I want to know what that's going to look like and what the gist of it. Collect the gem shards. So this is entirely going to be just like a test of my my skills. Oh no. My non-existent skills. Okay, we'll worry about collecting more of them in a moment. <laughs> I, I missed some pretty major stuff there. This will be like a bouncer, I'm sure, if I just line myself up right. Jeez. Just wasting all the time, aren't we? Honestly, there's not that much to collect. I mean, it is like the very first bonus stage. That's the chaining together of the, the grappling is like really what I wanted. I wanted to get good at that. That's going to be important for like time trialing levels. Surely that can be done infinitely faster. I assumed it would be more along the lines of like a gold, silver, bronze sort of thing. I'm a little bit surprised that that counted as being cleared. Let's try another level. Well, actually, let me just sail off a little bit. And see... So there we go. There's five levels and then, like, a boss thing at the end. Five? Is that... Yes. And there's the time trials for each. Uh, you can already tell just from the little picture that there's going to be, like, cannons. Then it's called Blast Zone. So we already know that we're introducing new, like, mechanics for how to move through the level. So that's being kept fresh and exciting. Wow, why can't I figure out how to jump up to that? Well, I'm not time trialing this, I can tell ya. Tell you that for free. There. That's what I'm missing. You can't obviously jump up to it, then. That should have felt probably a little bit obvious. Well, what else? Oh, there's there's totally stuff up there to grab as well. So let me just give a quick swing. Oh, I'm getting decent at that. Swing from, like, below up and around like that. The climbing, we're... we're Introducing a, a couple mechanics this level, it seems like. I'll show you. I'm gonna have all the oranges. Unlikely to get all of them. Many oranges <laughs> is, is my, my current target. I guess I guess the orange arrow is just showing me which gate opened with that button. I'm sure that'll come in handy like pretty well immediately. Not yet, but I can see the appeal of it. thats I don't think that's a very common thing. You kind of just have to memorize colored gates and where they are and where to find them sort of thing. Oh, I took damage on that one. I didn't flawlessly on that one as well. Didn't, <laughs> didn't bode super well. This looks like a side thing. Maybe there'll be a button down here. Hmm, button. Oh, lots of gates opened actually. To the point that it has me wondering if I should be backtracking. That didn't really seem like the, the sort of game... 
I, di I didn't think that would be like a part of this, but now it does make me want to go back. <laughs> okay, I gotta get out of here. I thought it would spawn me back somewhere else. I gotta, I gotta save myself. I don't know how this is gonna work. Tight little swings. Oh, and once, once I get up there, it's just a matter of wall jumping. That'll be easy. <laughs> there we go. What am I doing? Making things harder on myself than they need to be. So there was, there was so many of these um, reds along the way. Yeah, okay, tons of stuff opened up through that. I'm using the wrong button. I'm trying to grapple these enemies that are on the ground. I'm getting messed up by it quite a bit. There was no gates or anything in the previous level, so I... But maybe there was a point where I had to have gone backwards? Oh! No! This is... This is the correct way. This is where I needed to go. Which makes me wonder if now I skipped something over in the other part of the level. Probably, honestly. That's seeming like a high likelihood. Let's see if I can swing my way up. Yeah! I'll have to come back that way anyways. In uh, short order. Once I figure the purples out. But right now, I'm really feeling it. And so I'm kind of just trying to rip through this level a little bit at like a... As hot, a quick of a pace as I can. Certainly not, you know, gonna be like Meat Boy style or anything. But it's working out for me. Who is that teleporty fellow? Oh, that's tricky. <laughs> Have the one of those like interrupt you mid grapple. That you can only flip through the one direction. I dig it. I like it. Ooh, that was right at the end of my grapple distance. And then I blew it. Wow, did I ever set myself back there? Oh no! I don't have to go this way. I'm realizing immediately that I know that I don't because I've specifically done this section without going through all that. But it worked out. It's fine. That's smooth. Smooth gravy. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. It's uh, ever so slightly like Donkey Kong Country. And that's... That's great <laughs> for this game. I'm into that. Oh, I thought maybe that one I'd be able to like choose the direction of or something. It's just a less... Less boosty one. Oh, we got our carrot. And... There was probably an entirely secret path like that on the other level. I found one and felt all cocky and sure of myself. Woohoo! Found a secret path! I'm a genius! Look how good I am at being a grapple dog! And then... <laughs> there must have been at least one other one that I just totally missed. Whoops! Shocking that I missed that. Oh! That was sweet! I think I flung myself up off at a full enough speed that I was, you know, maybe you always dismount? Yeah, you always dismount in ball form, so you come flying off of those grapple blocks in like a wrecking ball form and just smash through enemies? That is like incredibly satisfying. Oh, heck yeah. This is good stuff. <laughs> this is, uh, the first level is fun, solid introduction, really liked what I was seeing. Now, immediately, I'm I'm getting this game in like a much more direct sense. That didn't go well though. I'm gotta stop trying to show off. <laughs> it's the the curse of playing platforming games is wanting to do things as like fancily and excitingly as possible. Aww. Nuts. I totally skipped over like a breakable crate that would have had some stuff. Oh, it's not even the bunny friend that wants... Oh, okay. Smashing up the blocks for me. Thanks, buddy. Oh, oh, that's the end. Don't want to go to the end just yet. Yeah, I don't know if there would have been a goat in the previous level. Probably, because I think there was also goats on that island. 
Damn, the, the levels are short. They're relatively short, but you can come back for the time trial. Uh, I happen to do quite well in terms of like discovering things. I didn't break that one crate and there was a, a branching point where I backtracked the way I was supposed to go and I ignored that other stuff. I was really close to maxing it out, but at least I got the, the two possible things there. So I already have 15 after two levels. I could go back and I could do like a time trial. So I'm, oh no, I missed finding one. I found one of two from just collecting the oranges. This one I got all seven on. The bonus level, so like I could potentially make it to the boss without clearing uh, this entire area. Pablo, why don't you visit me on the boat sometime? I'm very old and learned and I'm sure you would benefit from the wisdom I can share with you. Oh. And I can play my video game? Pablo, you're not a very good research assistant, are you? Who needs a video game? The game, the life you're living right now, Pablo, is as fun as any game will ever be. No, but I am good at video games. Video games? Pah! They'll rot your brain, you know. Not our, not I. I'm a genius boy. Thanks to video games. <laughs> I want to go back to the main level because I want to mess around with the time trial. I feel like, you know, the first level is a good place to start for something like that. Uh, no concerns with oranges or anything. This will strictly be a matter of just trying to move through things as quickly as I can. I'm for sure, like, not going to know the path. Like, I will not have memorized anything. And so I, I it's almost like a challenge to see how well I can do not having anything memorized. Oh, that was a bit of a whiff. Kind of my first one though. I was very pleased with how things were going up till then. That's nice to include little health things in case you just like blast through an enemy like that. Like, <laughs> I'm not doing that on purpose, but it's like, ah, whatever, just to show that it doesn't matter quite so much. You can actually choose to take damage for the sake of trying to speed through things? Oh, oh dang, I just discovered the first tricky bit. No, no, no. Come on, keep it going, buddy. Oh, I, I gotta let uh, his running build up. That's something I'm I'm like not doing here at all that I really should be. Is getting, getting running fast enough for that to build. Ah, <laughs> I nearly missed that little platform. Yes, that worked. I really hoped I could time that to run underneath him. I can't believe it worked, honestly. I'm taking the damage there, like, on purpose, essentially. Gold on the first try. Not clean. Not a clean run, mind you. <laughs> Heck yeah. I'm very, I'm very pleased with that. Obviously not the best it could be done, not by a long shot. I, I earned like a one one gold medal off of that, I guess, whatever use they'll have. Uh, do not know immediately. It was fun, it was a fun challenge, and obviously that level lends itself well to it because there's no confusing backtracking or buttons or switches or anything. That'll obviously get trickier. This is clearly gonna introduce like moving platforms and things, so we can already see what will change there. I'll go give our, our friend a, a visit. Looking good. <laughs> That's nice. Oh, and did I just leave? No. Just just visiting the various levels of the ship. Well, what if I want to get a nice look out the, the window? Hey, Tori. Didn't mean to boop you there. Tony, dang it. How, how are you doing? Oh, hey, Pablo. I'm just checking on the engine, making sure everything's running smoothly. Ah, cool. Well, it looks like the big spinny thing is spinning just fine. Yep, the drive gear is operating correctly. That's how it's meant to be. Hmm, it seems there's coolant exposure from a blasted radiator vent or a malformed conduit bracket. Jargon, 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 blah, blah, blah. Tony, I'll be honest with you. I don't know any of what any of those words mean. Oh, uh, okay. The engine's too hot, so I have to cool it down? Oh, I understood that. Good luck with... Whatever, I immediately forgot. It's gone from my brain again already. You know, goldfish are what they are. Pablo, you're a dog. <laughs> Thanks. Good luck with all the jumping and swinging around and stuff. Yeah, 
we each have our own special talents. No need to judge anyone for being a little thick in the skull. You know, just doing the best I can. This is the, uh, Tony's room? I'm sure Tony wouldn't want me looking at her project before it's ready. Oh, a little tease of something coming up later in the game. I like the way the rooms are labeled with pictures of the characters. That's cute. The professor has a lot of books. Some of them even have pictures in. And she reads up top, uh, on top of the shelf there. Ah, uh, Pablo, my intrepid research assistant. I'm glad you came to see me. We have much to discuss. I've been doing further reading into this Null character, looking at our records of the inventor's creations. I now believe Null to be a mechanical being. You're way behind here. You mean Null's a robot? I thought that was pretty obvious, Professor. He was made of metal, his head flew on and off. Not just any kind of robot, Pablo. One created by the great inventor himself. Wait. You think Null was made by the great inventor? As in the inventor built him out of stuff? I imagine it was a touch more complicated than that, but yes, precisely. Null may be the last living being who knew the great inventor personally. Not to get overly philosophical, but how are we defining living in this scenario? I, I, I don't know about that <laughs> definition in this context. The knowledge he may possess is priceless. It would advance my research considerably. Very selfish of you, the world's going to end. Professor, Null shot at me with a laser. You know I hate lasers. I don't think those are for cats. Save the lasers for cats, they love them. I don't think he's gonna sit down for an interview. Well, yes, I suppose it will be quite awkward the next time you meet. Nevertheless, you must attempt to learn something from Null. Think of the possible historical insights. Well, I'll try and save the world first, but if I get any historical insights, I'll let you know. Oh, she's got even more up there. Some of them have pictures. We really, really only care about the picture books, huh, Pablo? I get it. You love video games and grappling and swinging, but try, try to expand your mind. <laughs> the little feet swing. I'll stay there all day. I'll never go back out and do anything again. Hee <laughs> I have one in my own room too. <gasps> Video games. It looked like a desktop computer and a Game Boy. Boomerang Bandit. Is it just like a Space Invaders sort of thing almost? But it's cowboys? That's kind of funny because it's uh, either it's intended to be like cowboys and aliens or it's like, nope, it's, a, it's an actual snake. So it's just like the inverse of like, Taking the style of game that's comic, commonly like sci-fi, space, aliens, jet fighters and things, and instead making it cowboys. It's very funny. I have killed everything, yet remain at zero points. Well, what good is my gun f for then? Oh, you can kind of control it a little bit. So that's, that's neat, because it's like always going to come back to you, so it stays in line with where you are. Well then, why in the heck <laughs> was I using my gun for? I guess that's to like bail you out in case things get dicey. This is it though, Pablo. This is the game you were you were eager to get back for. Yeah, fun little time waster. But I gotta tell you, <laughs> there's a there's a lot of other games out. I'd be uh, in a rush to get home to play more of. For example, I heard of this one cool one, Grapple Dog. That's a fun one that I would want to set aside a little bit of time for and try to get home for. <laughs> I was paid nothing to play this game. <laughs> Genuinely, I wasn't. Oh, the vulture. Now we're getting things mixed up. Now is where the challenge begins. I do feel a little bit compelled to stick with this just to see what kind of variety there is. And I don't know, there's probably like an achievement for getting... Who knows, 50,000 points in Boomerang Bandit or whatever the game was called. Things are ramping up. There's enough stuff on screen all of a sudden that I kind of have to start busting out the gun to, to play some cleanup. Because I, I like can't actually get around the map enough with the Boomerang to clear everything. But you start accumulating points a lot faster as soon as there's enough things on screen to like chain together enough to get like... 1600 in one boomerang toss 
That's where things really start ramping up. No, I lost my first life. These grumpy little guys, well, these are like, you know, buffalo bison skulls or cow skulls or something like that. These grumpy little frowny guys are cowboys. <laughs> I like couldn't honestly tell. Ooh, first thir 32. I uh, could not tell what they were, and I'm just realizing now that, like, that that's like the brim of their little cowboy hat flipped up on the sides, and they just got, like, either a scowly face or a mustache. It could be either. Oh, did I only lose one health there? I, I honestly kind of feel like I deserve to lose two. Oh, okay. It actually got kind of hard. It just took quite a while to build up to that. I see no achievements that have to do with that little mini game or anything so not not the case what's it what's his little cat friend or his little cowboy he's got a little poster of the cowboy i do see now that there's an achievement called pet the dog and i'm uh dramatically trying to figure out how to pet the dog oh see so you, you can play uh with like all sorts of accessibility things on if you want to to like make the game a little easier if you just want a nice casual experience. I feel like that's becoming increasingly more acceptable that like one way to play the game isn't who cares so, like play it how you want. <laughs> Some of these books are super old not as old as Null though. Yeah dude's old as heck. You can see all sorts of cool stuff underwater and I wonder what's on TV. There's no time. I got to save the world first. Yeah, you just went and played like 10 minutes of your goofy game, but that's, you got to worry about that. Not supposed to play with the toaster anymore. Not after the last time. <laughs> Who just leaves bread ready to go in your toaster? You're not saving time. It's going to go stale. But also, Pablo, buddy, what did you do to that toaster? Why? <laughs> Why are you permanently banned from from this? What could you have possibly done? I'm, I'm worried about you, buddy. Uh, some craziness. I also wanted to look forward. Oh, it doesn't quite fully pencil in, I think, like, what the level will be about. There's obviously that yellow box, a couple X's. This one has a, a type of robot that has, like, shurikens and also some sort of, I don't know, rocket jump booster or something. That, oh, he also has eyes following me around. Look at that. Keeping an eye, watching out for what I'm up to. Just you wait. Just you wait. Not yet, though. <laughs> there you guys have it. Grabble Dog. I've been very excited for this one for a long time. For these sorts of games, I like to do my best to show what it has to offer with like a decent amount of time spent with the game. And then like, I'll continue to play it on my own. I feel like platformers get repetitive from a commentary perspective, but you can tell right away the charm and the appeal of this game and like the mechanics work incredibly smoothly. I'm only like scratching the surface with World 1, haven't even gotten to a boss battle. So there's tons to see here. Absolutely, I recommend this game. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope to see you again soon.